edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet $10 at WinBet and get $200 in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit WYNNBet.com and start winning today. And make sure to download the SGPN app, your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second that money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog T- true pro bring in the energy. What is this day four? We're here day four. Day, yes. D- day four. Wednesday, we're- Thursday, Friday. And now we are here Saturday, closing it out. Our last show here at the wind. It's uh, it's been an awesome run here. So excited. I mean, again, it's anytime you're out here, it's just awesome. <laughs> Studio's great. And uh, yeah, it's been a great trip breaking down the draft. We had the mock draft. We had the draft countdown, draft props, so much action. What a journey we've been on this in this short time, four it, days. Yes. It has been a, uh, a long journey and you know, Vegas time goes really just completely off the grain where it slows down. Feel like you've been here forever. And then it goes super fast when you're on a uh, red hot blackjack table. Catching up on my blackjack stories, and we will get to our way too early NFL win totals. Uh, the official win totals for win bet aren't out yet. They're going to be coming out soon, but we thought let's get ahead. Let's let's we we basically projected what we think they may open the win totals at. Oh, I'm a sharp. You can yes. just say it. we're going to uh, and, and we'll break down where we're leaning again very early. Don't lock it in quite yet, but we want to be prepared when these lines actually open. Ryan, I tweeted out uh, the other night that if you don't know how to play blackjack, don't sit next to my table. First off, I did not realize how controversial this would be. Very controversial take. People coming at me, do you own the casino? Mm. Is it your table? No, obviously it's not my table, but it's annoying to play a blackjack with someone who doesn't know how to play. Does it kind of affect your cards? Sure. Could it affect it positively and negatively? Sure. But I think over the course of the period, you want someone who knows how to play basic blackjack strategy because their odds of winning are better. And when everyone wins, it's a more yes. fun table. Now uh, we got our ass kicked first couple nights. And then last night uh, got my ass kicked again, but kept, kept in the ring. Ryan, this is a story about redemption. It's a story about never giving up. A lot of people just quit, hang up their blackjack uh, jacket, but I, I grinded it out. We found this dealer named Fang and just got red hot and uh, won it all back. It was, it was really a wild ride. Me and the uh, other people at the table, shaking hands, fist bumping. Kramer got in on the action at some point as well. I, I, uh, I, I, you know, we called ourselves the Fang gang. It was, uh, it was really awesome. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say Nick Foles goes into the pantheon in, into the pantheon of Oh, I'm sorry. Fang goes into the pantheon of greats with Nick Foles, oh, yeah. Tariq Cohen. If you had another wedding, would Fang be thanked at that wedding? I mean, yes. it, it wasn't a historic run. It wasn't craps uh, no. last time, but I will say Sean, I think it, Sean it, needed this. It felt historic because we had just been getting our asses kicked uh, at the table with blackjack, but again, held it out and uh, made a nice little run and shout out to everyone who played blackjack with us. Shout out to Fang. You know, you can play uh, blackjack. Over on the win bet casino oh. app, hundred percent deposit bonus. Bet big with win bigger with the win bet uh, app, and of course, get in on that bet ten dollars, get two hundred dollars in free bets. Of course, we're taping this on a Saturday, so you know they have the build your own bet feature. Uh, all users can receive a twenty dollar free bet when they win, lose, or push a three plus leg of a build your own bet parlay. Between Thursday and Saturday, great for the NBA playoffs. We're going to be getting some more NBA action uh, coming up this week. And again, download that win betting app or just head to winbet.com to get started today. Offer subjects, change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and president of the state where play through members available. If you or someone you know is a game problem, call 
1-800-522-4700. A lot of caffeine got you through that one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Power and through. Kramer, Kramer and I also uh, <laughs> checked out the spa. Hey. <laughs> Had a little uh, spa day. And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm feeling relaxed. I don't know if I look relaxed, but I, I fell asleep uh, on, a, on a chair. So <laughs> th- things are working out for me. I can't wait to, uh, honestly, I'll, I'll be honest, Sean. Yeah. Getting ready to next trip. There might be a pillow upgrade. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm wondering if I could somehow get a, a upgraded <laughs> pillow next time dealing with a little neck issue. So, <laughs> all right, let's start walking through these wind totals, the projected wind totals. Again, they're not out yet on wind bet, but it's the NFL. We got it. We got to talk some football as football guys Kramer kick things off we're going from lowest to highest lowest to highest somehow the Houston Texans are lowest on the totem pole four and a half uh, plus 100 on the over minus 120 on the under Uh, also 200 to one to win the Super Bowl I don't get all the hate I don't get the hate on them uh why they're 25 to one to win the division uh, if I'm just going to blindly take the lowest number on the board and go over, I'm happy to do it with this Texans team. They, yeah, they could things go horribly wrong. Yes. Could Davis mills not be good at all? Yes. But of course I'm taking, uh, if I'm, if, if you're, is this a lean or a play? <laughs> I mean, at four and a half, I feel pretty good. They, they seem to rally around Davis. Uh, and you know, their draft looks, uh, what, what did we give them on the draft grade? Got like a B, right? A- AFC has a, uh, has a, a, a additional road game this year. One, th- one nugget. I, I just, what are we looking at in the division, Sean? We're yeah. talking about the Titans. We're talking about the Colts. We're talking uh, AJ Brown, less, uh, Titans. Jesus so that's Christ. gonna That's right. worth at least half a win over under at four and a half, uh, feels really, really tasty. So I'm all over that one. Yeah, but same Atlanta Falcons five one fifty to one uh, to win the Super Bowl plus one hundred on the over one, minus one hundred twenty on the under. I'm I'm gonna be bullish on this Falcons team until uh, mm-hmm. Mariota proves me wrong. I I, th- I love that they got another developmental quarterback, but I, I I think picking up Drake London, you have Pitts. Th- this is a situation where we could see them surprise some people, and you're not talking about a division with a bunch of like tough. They have Tampa Bay and what? We like Jameis Winston, but there's a lot of question marks in New Orleans, a lot yeah. of question marks in Carolina. So again, this another seems obvious over. Yeah, at, at five, man, that is really low. But again, Falcons were a team. Extra home game. Yeah, but also they were a team that really. You look at their uh, their stats and stuff. They were uh, they were at hashtag prime for regression. I mean, they were one of the most fortunate teams. They had a historic. Uh, point differential in the negative side for the amount of wins they they actually had. Ryan, when your when your Pythag book about football comes out, they are going to be extremely low on this Falcons team. But maybe it's been adjusted too much at five. I'm with you. They won I, seven last year. I mean, it, it, could they have better quarterback play with Mariota and a, a scheme that maybe more fits what Arthur Smith is trying to do? I mean, uh, uh, the read yes. option stuff with Mariota to me is more interesting in a fantasy uh, sense. But at five, it's a scrappy team. Yeah. Never All forget right. hate week jets five and a half minus minus one thirty over plus plus one ten under one fifty to one to win the super bowl. Zach Wilson got some help. Gotta love what they did in the first round. Gotta worry. <laughs> there's a little too much excitement. I know it, it's it, everything about this screams over except that it's the jets. Like it, the, the fact that it's still the jets is extremely, extremely troubling. That being said, you, you don't think they can get to six? Like six still isn't a good season. If Zach Wilson takes well, a step they, forward, if we're putting a gun, you know, a, a, a proverbial gun, of course, Sean, to our heads, are we saying that Zach Wilson takes a step forward with better talent around him? Or are we saying that he's just not a good NFL quarterback? Yeah, I mean, they, they are in a very tough division. Um, so you got the you got the Bills, you got the Patriots, even the Dolphins, of course, are scrappy. So... Where do you have them finishing in the division, Ryan? Do you I don't have know. them finishing third? Do you have because I think you got to get to third if you're going to take the over here. I, I'm with you. I'll take. I'll lean over here uh, right now in this way too early win total. But I we're just excited about football. Three overs in a row. I know. Jacksonville <laughs> this is crazy. Jacksonville one thirty to one to win the Super Bowl. Six is the win total. Minus one twenty over. Plus one hundred under. It's happening again, Sean. We, we, we suffered from this last season 
Everyone starts getting excited about the Jacksonville Jag. Oh, look at Doug Peterson. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I mean, he is a massive upgrade from Urban Meyer. We can agree on that. Yes. And, and that's the argument, right? The, the argument is they can't be worse than last year. Yep. And how many games did they win last year? Three. Okay. But I think they can. Uh, Are they four games better? Trevor Lawrence, is his footwork fixed? Trevor Lawrence is all, all, all. I, again. I wasn't as high on Trevor last year. I know he ended that one game again. I was on the Jags money line when they closed out the Colts. That was an all time <laughs> hit last year, but I, I'm with you. I don't see, I'm definitely leaning under here. I don't, you know, I don't like the Trevon Walker pick at number one. I'm going to be on when we're talking. They brought in so many free agents. There's so much change. I mean, again, they needed a change because they were the Jags. They're run by Urban Meyer, but why? I like the under at six uh, right now. Why are the and look at the way they spent their money? Like they kind of got clowned a little bit. Why? Why would they be one and a half wins better than the Houston Texans right now? Yeah, I don't see that. Uh, you and you're right. If we're slightly higher on the Texans, then I think we by, you know, by so, yeah, just on that same place, we got to be uh, slightly lower on this Jags team. Another team at six, the Lions also are uh, this. They're one fifty to one, minus one thirty on the over six, plus one ten on the under six. I think we, you know, we like getting H Hutchinson. We like. I, I think I like a lot of what they did in terms of the talent. Do they have a quarterback? No, and I think that I think that is still a huge issue for them, and that that's why I kind of knocked them in the draft grade. They didn't get Malik Willis, which I think would make this way more interesting if you brought in a super athletic guy like Malik Willis. I know you're putting weapons right. around Jared Goff, but Dan Campbell told us he didn't like Jared Goff <clears throat> and, no. and you're still bringing back Jared Goff. So I'm on the under here. The, the hilarious arrogance of your take of judging NFL team, like not just one team for not taking Malik Willis, but the whole league decided to not take Malik Willis. And you're, and you're saying that if the lions had taken him, you'd like it better than Jared Goff. A, I, I would a third rather, round, fourth round quarterback. Whatever yes, I would rather, as a Lions better, I would rather bet on Malik Willis and this win total at six than Jared Goff, 100%. DJ Chark was up there early, catching passes from Jared Goff. God damn it, Sean. I think I might be, uh, I'm starting to, to, to drink my own uh, double vente, uh, triple red eye, because... This Lions team is going to have a chip. I love what they've done in the draft. I love that they got a pass rusher that could change their defense tomorrow. Jags didn't do that. Lions did. They picked up a weapon that can help Jared Goff right now. Amon St. Brown was exciting. Let's go, Lions. Give me the over. You're crazy. Panthers, six. 100-1 to one to win the title. That's crazy. Minus 110 each way. This is clear. It, Matt Rule, first coach to be fired. Panthers addressed nothing in the draft. No, and 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 I get they got Hal, but he does seem to be the uh, keep the hometown kid. I like we we discussed that's a, that's a that's a that's a fun long term play, but I don't think it's going to happen with, um, you know, with the current coach right now. Wait, did they take Howell or did they take Corral? Oh, I thought they took Hal. Maybe I'm sorry. Hold double on. I'll, check. I'll look it up. But either way, Hal or Corral, it's still going to be a little. Uh, it's going to be a lot. Of, uh, this this Panthers team isn't an instant fix, and at some point you're you're gonna be starting Sam Darnold. So maybe the rookie comes in and gives you some shine late, but I, I'm going under six. Yeah, and it's it's Corral. I mean, it was Corral. I think I think in a weird okay. way, Corral is great if you're a Panthers fan and you want to get excited be, because of his scrappiness. I think it's bad because he's gonna get into Sam Darnold's headspace. And you're going to have that problem where Sean, this what could be like a good transition year for the Panthers. What happens if Corral ends up being good, but I, I think the wins are going to come maybe at the end of the season. If some of this clicks, but early, it's going to be brutal for the Panthers. Yeah. I, I they took a, they took the best pass, uh, blocking tackle, uh, in, according to some in, in terms of ceiling, but yeah, I, they, I just think that there's so much turmoil here when McCaffrey gets hurt again. And the team starts tanking. I don't think you have the quarterback that's going to put the team on on their back. And again, why is the why are the Falcons a win less than the Panthers? It's a great question. Who who do you like? Which quarterback situation? Uh, yeah. I mean, I would rather take over on the Falcons. Mariota and Ritter, Ritter well, Mariota, or Corral and <laughs> Darnold. Mar yeah, and two on two basketball. Definitely Mariota and Ritter. Yeah. All right, Seahawks six one hundred to one to win the title. 
they added a running back to the stable, Sean. So don't worry, Seahawks fans. Kenneth Walker. Pete Carroll running the ball 35 times. RIP Rashad well, Penny in fantasy. We should talk to Colby about maybe becoming a Seahawks fan. I think he's going to like the way they play football this year with uh, <laughs> Drew Locke under center. May, maybe Baker Mayfield, question mark. Uh, six is the total, plus 100 on the over. Minus 120 on the under. Uh, how do you how do you not like this could be the bottom right this is the end of the Pete Carroll era they're not going to fix this right they still don't have a quarterback you're you're in this range of teams with a lot of question I do you love what they did in the draft you think they're fixed I, I don't know about that no no I I don't think they're fixed at all and again I'm I'm just gonna you know while we're doing this so early out I'm just gonna keep fading these teams with no quarterbacks Seahawks don't have a quarterback and the win total isn't low enough to make me interested. I mean, MP I, Carroll was allowed to take a running back yeah, in the second round. It's going to be is insane. I, they it, didn't need a running back. It, it's going to be a worse version of, you know, what we saw last year by a mile. You don't have Russ Wilson. Drew Locke is a massive downgrade from Russell Wilson. Russ was always a lot. And there's a chance they still get rid of DK Metcalf, which I think is, is still in play. Maybe not now post draft. You think so? I, I still think it's in the mix, yeah. Giants, they're at seven, 100 to one to win the title. Did they not see the draft, Sean? <laughs> 110 each way. T tell, me, tell me why, Sean. Tell me why you're taking the under. Uh, they're just a historically bad franchise. They've been the worst franchise o -line in fixed. the past 10 years. Pass so, rush yeah, fixed. Gonna, uh, yeah, but again. Coaching fixed. Am I, Front office fixed. Am I on? Am I, I, mean, I may as well just record a... Uh, Hey, I, I, a little loop here. No, the I'm, Giants don't have a quarterback, thus I'm going under. You're not bringing me down, bro. If they would have drafted Malik Willis, someone oh, who stop. wants to make plays. Again, you, you Sean's uh, scouting brain greater than the collective NFL. Yeah. The <laughs> right, you act right. Okay, you want to bring up Jeff? <laughs> you know who uh, who was right about uh, Sam uh, Bradford, right? Me or oh the collective God. NFL? The collective NFL oh made God. him a number one pick oh overall. My. The collective NFL got that. He got multiple contracts. It wasn't just that one whiff up top. They, he got paid by the Cardinals, the Vikings. I'm on the over. He made over a hundred million dollars without one playoff snap. I was smarter than anyone in the NFL who was on the Sam Bradford train. And it, let me guess, you're on the over seven. Is there a chance that Daniel Jones does take zero steps forward? Yes. But is there a chance that Brian Dable's creative get the ball to athletes in space? Mike Kafka offense will be something that could maybe allow Daniel Jones to elevate. Maybe a, a, a future gold jacket, right tackle, left. They now have the best offensive line in the division. I'm standing on the table. This is a team where if Please da don't Daniel Jones stage. just needs a little bit of a step forward, a little bit of a step. Saquon Barkley contract year, Daniel Jones <laughs> contract year. I mean, you want to talk Kenny about Galladay, is this not retribution? Just, <laughs> is this not just Kayvon Thibodeau talking points of last year? Kayvon Thibodeau with the giant chip on his shoulder. Come on, dude. We're, we're never going to agree here. No, Cause you're a hater. Five unders in a row. Congratulations. Oh yeah. I'm, Bring I mean, your hate to the show. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm digging up some data on what, what do you want? What are you going to bring data about some silly <laughs> they, trend? They, they've, they've won more than uh, six games once. Okay. Since 2013. Be careful, dude. Going to run into a car. Look it in the rear view mirror that hard. Uh, all right. Uh, we got plenty more win totals to come shouting out trade coffee, Ryan. Oh. I am looking forward to getting back home and getting back to my nice batch of trade coffee. Oh man. Some of the best roasted beans from 60 other countries, uh, best craft roasters, small businesses who pay farmers fair prices uh, for sustainably sourced uh, beans from all around the world. And really it is, uh, it's just delicious. Honestly, I really like what they're doing uh, with the trade coffee, very tasty. And uh, you know, you, you started off, you take the little coffee quiz, which is always fun trying to get your, uh, you know, your exact coffee palette dialed in the beans smell delicious. They taste delicious. Uh, anytime I walk by and, you know, smell those beans, it is, uh, you know, it's on trade coffee connects customers to the freshest and best tasting coffee. 
they've ever made at home. I can uh, totally uh, stamp my approval on that endorsement right now. Uh, they got a sweet little uh, subscription going. Total uh, $30 off your first order plus free shipping when you go to drinktrade.com slash SGP. That's more than 40 cups of coffee for free. Get started by taking their quiz at drinktrade.com slash SGP and let trade find you a coffee you'll love. That's drinktrade.com slash SGP for $30 off. And don't forget about Mother's Day coming up. Trade uh, coffee subscription. Perfect hmm. gift for the coffee lovers in your life. I know that's one thing that me and my mom, one of our, the few interests we have in common is that we both love really good coffee. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, perfect last minute uh, Mother's Day gift. If you guys are, uh, Looking for something. Highly recommend Trade Coffee. And I appreciate you uh, treating our off- audience like it, it, it would be last minute for them to be working on Mother's Day right now. <laughs> Bears, 100 to 1, 7 is the win total, plus 115 on the over, minus 135 on the under. You know, who won that trade? I don't know. We could look at the win total right there and see who won the trade between the Giants and the Bears. Bears uh, expected to do a little bit worse. How so? Because the juice is on the under, Sean. That's how. <laughs> so that's that's, that's, that's how, how the market works. That's how you're saying you've won the trade because well, I, the, I know you're Sean. The projected juice on the under is leaning towards the Giants. This is come on. All right. Uh, the Chicago Bears have a quarterback. Yeah, oh. They won the trade. Uh, Justin Fields' newsflash is a quarterback. How many He's games got a quarterback. Did he win? What? How many games did he win last year? Your, uh, your big wins guy. I'm just curious. Justin Fields. I'll Google this right now. Again, he was an eye test guy, and they they have a new coach for him. He won two games. And uh, <laughs> oh, Ryan, come on! You want to you want to pull up Daniel Jones? We're stats? not talking about the Giants. We're talking about the Bears. And I just wanted to bring up that Justin Fields has two wins. Yeah, and I think he's going to get eight in uh, 2022. I okay. I like what the Bears are doing. I like how they're loading up on offensive line in the draft. And Justin Fields to me is a playmaker. He's a difference maker at the position. I like the flashes I saw. I think the guy's massive potential. So give me the over on the Bears here. This is the same scouting eye that, that has Malik Willis as a transcendent quarterback. Uh, I didn't say that, but is he better than Jared Goff? Yes. Huh? Let, we'll, Jared Goff won a playoff hold, game hold in that Seattle. Receipt, hold that receipt, Ryan, and we can we can. Oh, check hold that receipt. Your bear bullish Bears takes are going to be hilarious at the end of the year when they have four wins. I like nothing about what they've done this offseason. It's horrible. <laughs> you're so mad at you're so it's mad horrible. at the Bears because their quarterback doesn't understand a whiteboard. All right, I'm sta- I'm still right. Under well, seven, he's, he's, I'm still he's right. He's a tablet guy. Pittsburgh, right? you haven't gotten the memo. Field switched to a tablet. We're all good. He needs the like. The, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to fix his problems. Pittsburgh Steelers got their quarterback maybe a round or two early. Sixty-five to one. On the future, seven and a half is the win total. Minus one twenty on the over, plus one hundred on the under. This is an institution play. Uh, how do you take the under? Matt, Mike Tomlin is going to get you eight wins. That defense still is T.J. Watt. Uh, they still have a ton of skill players on the offensive side of the ball. Am I high on Trubisky? Am I high on Pickett? Not really super high on either. But I mean, Tomlin got it done with Big Ben and his shoulder hanging on by a thread. So. Yeah, Trubisky, who brings in a little bit mobility, they could do some read option stuff, some different things with that offense. Again, Tomlin has never had a losing season, which is crazy considering some of the ups and downs of Roethlisberger. And and obviously he had a great career, but there were certainly some years where things looked a little bleak. I still really believe in that defense. And again, I'm not as high on the Browns as maybe the market will be with the Deshaun Watson thing. I think they can get some wins there and they're always scrappy in the division. So yeah, I like the over seven and a half. I mean, you don't really have to say much more than this. It's is just kind Tomlin, of, right? It's Tomlin. It's the fact that everyone is so much higher on everyone else in the division. They still have that defense. And as you mentioned, I think the key point here is I don't think Pickett or Trubisky have to be great to, to be able to make this team better than Roethlisberger just from like mobility yep. and just not being a tree. Yes, don't Commanders. be a tree. <laughs> Which, by the way, Big Ben, really good looking guy. Let's not forget that. Washington Commanders. We were out with some of the blue wire guys and the uh came up. Oh, you do look Ryan like Ryan looks like Ben Roethlis. We're like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh wow. A hundred percent. And now, Ryan, you'll you, the Big Ben stays with you post uh post well, retirement. I mean, you know, greats do look good. Washington Commanders, <laughs> sixty five to one to win it all. This is crazy. Seven and a half is the win total. 
minus 120 on the over, plus 100 on the under. Sean, Carson Wentz, starting quarterback. Yep, under seven and a half. Very easy uh, handicap here on the commanders. Uh, I mean, again, very easy uh, organization to just auto fade. And I do like Ron Rivera as a coach, but I don't know what happened to him that he had to get stuck with, uh, with poor Carson Wentz here. And even, even the defensive line, which was like their strength, Chase Young, number one pick overall. There was talks that they were considering trading him. They were so desperate for a quarterback. Now they're kind of stuck in between where they got Sam Howell and then they have Carson Wentz. This feels like a transition year. And the leash is going to be super short on Carson Wentz. Again, if I was the commanders, I probably would have uh, selected Malik Willis just because if you're Ron Rivera, it's easy to show um, you know, and you start Malik Willis those last couple games, show some progress to extend your role. I think we're, I think this is Ron Rivera's last year yeah. with the commanders I, I because think, I just don't see how it's going to go well. I think there's a chance that Sam Howell could definitely be a better quarterback than Malik Willis. And I, I yeah, actually, no, I, I don't, I don't doubt that. I guess with, with Malik Willis, I could see him flashing earlier because of the athleticism and you, you need to go watch Sam Howell play because I think Sam Howell's going to be. And maybe the, he ends up being a better quarterback. Let's, let's, go, not, let's go to a great scene in Rudy, right? Vince Vaughn taking it off in practice, uh, and Rudy comes in. And if you have half the heart of Rudiger, you middle made all of them. That's Sam Howell to Carson Wentz. Sam Howell's going to bust his butt. Like, I'm sure Malik Willis would have busted his butt too, but I, I like the idea of Sam Howell coming in. Well, J- Jalen Hurts ran Carson Wentz out of town in Philly. He came in with QB1 swag. And that scared off Carson Wentz. Like that really got in 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 his head mentally. A guy who saw his backup quarterback win a Super Bowl and they built a statue outside of the stadium. So I think Carson Wentz is very weak mentally. Yep. And even having to compete with Sam Howell is going to make this situation worse for the commander. Here's the hot take. Commanders fans are stoked at the end of the season. Not because they made the playoff, but because Sam Howell has finally been freed and looks pretty good. Yeah. I, 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 I would... It's, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the best quarterback in the class. Just he, he was the number one guy, and then a year happened, and things, you know, and this whole class seemed weak. I don't know. Under commanders, you can't do that with Carson Wentz. New Orleans Saints, 50 to 1 to win it all. Jameis at the helm. Eight is the win total, minus one, 110 each way. Oh, man. I, my concern here is purely coaching. Yeah. Well, Dennis Allen, before having a good defense, had a historically bad defense for a long time, like historically long stretch of bad defenses. Sean Payton, a great coach. Sean Payton, a great CEO of an NFL organization. Sean Payton, just a, just a, a leader. And, and I think when you replace that, it, it's sometimes it's not so easy. And I almost don't like that the hand-picked guy came in. Yeah. Um, Todd Bowles, I'm a little bit more excited in that same scenario because clearly there were some undercurrents there. I, I don't know what to think about this. I, I think there could be some weirdness. Uh, this could be a transitional year. They're clearly treating it like a year where they think they can win with the way they drafted. And I almost think that makes me like them less. I'm, as- I'm going under eight and I think you hedge it by Jamison, uh, James Winston, MVP, and, and, and we kind of ride it that way, just in case everything clicks right for the saints. But I'm with you. I'm really nervous about this, this coaching. I don't think, I don't think enough has been made about Sean Payton. Very like Mike Tomlin, where it's just, you can count on this team being decent. They may not win the super bowl every year, but they were always kind of in the mix. That stability with drew Brees and uh, you know, Sean Payton and Sean Payton, you know, did a good job of getting some wins with the team when they didn't really have any options at quarterback I mean, this year, all season. Yeah. And so I, I think that's I'm, I'm going under number. eight, but I'm, they're definitely a team. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on in the off season with the way they're priced. I, I almost and just see how, see how, see how things are coming, training camp, everything. So they're definitely someone I'm going to keep an eye on, but right now I'm, I'm leaning under, I'm on under two. I'm going to be hunting for a Falcons to finish second in the division prop. Cause I, I see no reason why the saints are three and a half three games better than the Falcons. There's a lot of uncertainty. There. Yeah. If you go Pat- Fox Falcons, Saints, Panthers, exact finish. That's going to be an interesting play. Pats 40 to one to win it all. Eight and a half is the win total minus 125 on the over uh, plus 105 on the under. Uh, all right. So Mac Jones doesn't take a step forward. What does this team look like? Uh, 
probably pretty similar, right? You could argue Mac Jones didn't really step forward all season, right? That's yeah, why I mean, he lost the rookie of the year. Yeah, because they realized, well, I mean, again, there was that one game which he ended up winning, but he only had, you know, three pass attempts. I did think that kind of exposed him a little bit, but I do think he's going to improve. He seems like a guy he's going to put the time in. So I, I, I think even if he, even if he's the exact same as last year, I still think they probably win nine games. Belichick always figures out how to get good stuff out of this defense. 10 was probably an outlier last year for them, but again, he could, he could make a minor jump or even stay the same. And I still like the over here at eight and a half. Is it an upgrade to not have Josh McDaniels there or does that hurt the development of Mac Jones? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Josh McDaniels, do you, was he really scheming up great stuff for Mac Jones? It felt like pretty straightforward to me. Yeah. And I, I don't, it's almost like they were protecting him. So maybe he gets unprotected and he, we get to see if he's any good. I, I would, I would lean. I'm going to lean under here. Actually. I'm right. worried that he doesn't progress and they, they take a step backward and the uh, Steve Belichick defense just gets, uh, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't take a step forward. That is, that is worrisome. That, that, uh, be, the Belichick son he, with the mullet. He's, is... he's getting old. Like he's making, like he's getting laughed at by, Sh although I will say the meme of Sean McVay laughing at his draft pick when they're playing in the Super Bowl. Or, or at any point in the season, oh. just like, let that happen. Let Belichick see that. Yeah. When I <laughs> you laughing at Belichick, that just enrages him uh, further. Oh, and, and of all people to, to Sean McVay, you should be a little humbled. I mean, they held you to three points in the Super Bowl. Act, you know, come on, hide your, uh, hide your shot in front. We all thought it was a reach, <laughs> but as we know, Robert Kraft loves strange Ryan yes. sleeper fantasy. Mm. We already use sleeper fantasy for our SGPN dynasty fantasy league. You guys probably use it. It's uh, you know, I it's an awesome app to run your fantasy football league, but they've expanded. They now have new over under games. Super fun to play. We have our own little squad. You can hop in our squad, sg.pn slash squad, sg.pn slash squad, and you can just copy guys like Moonoff, his picks, Jake, and and people just keep cranking these things out. They're very fun. Uh, you can win between two X and twenty X. I like going three X on the players plus six fifty, really nice uh, payout there on a three uh, player, uh, player prop parlay. And the best part is when you're using sleeper over under, they got a nice deposit match. That's right. Up to $100 dollar for dollar. Download the sleeper app, click the over under use our promo code. When you deposit S G P hundred percent deposit match up to $100 sleeper promo code S G P. And of course, Ryan, Athletic greens. I feel like I've been on top of my game out here in Las Vegas. Feel like normally I'd be feeling way worse day four of Vegas, but every day in Vegas, wake up, get me. I brought my shaker bottle with me, Ryan, just shaking it up. Uh, getting that AG one going 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens. Again, I really noticed an improvement with my, uh, overall stomach health feels better. And again, you're, you're drinking really good stuff as far as like all these vitamins, minerals, but also it, the taste is good. Uh, I enjoy the taste. I look forward to cracking it open every morning. Let it greens is over 7,000 five star reviews. So it's not just us that are enjoying some athletic greens. They're going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash SGP. That's athleticgreens.com slash SGP to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Well, I had to take, I doubled up. I had a, it was like a, a you double up. shot. <laughs> I needed a double shot this morning of that AG one Cleveland Browns. This is, this is a heavy projection. The future is 17 to one. Which is interesting. Okay. So they that's interesting that they let you have the future but not the win total. Obviously, this is hanging on to whether or not Deshaun Watson will get suspended. If he does get suspended, how many games? That's really why we can't even project a line. But since we are sharps, we are still going to project one. Eight and a half. I I mean it's under. Seems, seems like there's a world where the suspension doesn't happen until next year. Yeah which is crazy. There's also, it seems like more stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I just, again, I, I don't think enough people are talking about. He was a, they won four games that last year in Houston. Yeah. How but many did Davis the, Mills win? Yeah. Uh, four. four. The idea that he's just going to end up in Cleveland and completely ball out. Th- there is, you know, there is that outcome as a potential, uh, potential simulation, right? But there's also many more simulations where the Browns, the run game isn't as good. Maybe the defense isn't as good. And, and Deshaun Watson, it takes a while for them to get everything to click. So I, I'm going under eight and a half right now. They finally got a quarterback that wanted to be there and they ran him out of town. <laughs> hey, really? They're you cursed. got a playoff. This is going to curse the city yeah. of Cleveland. You got a playoff win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yep, with who? With Baker Mayfield. And you ran that guy out of town? I get it. We all thought Baker kind of sucks, but. Cursed under. The shoulder. Give him a chance. He was Mr. Cleveland. Deshaun Watson, I don't know if he's going to be Mr. Cleveland, Ryan. I really hope Baker goes to Seattle to play with Pete Carroll. I, I really am starting and, to and that, that. that would make me look at that yeah. win total again oh. because <laughs> when is Baker Mayfield good? It's rare, but he's good when he has a chip <laughs> on his shoulder, when he's playing the flag in college, <laughs> he was, when he's going up against the Steelers in the playoffs. Walk on. When That first year when he had the chip on his shoulder, and now you know he lost the chip when he blew out his shoulder. But I, oh, no. I think Baker with a chip on his shoulder is interesting if he ends up on one of these teams with a super low win tone. No disrespect to Cleveland, but he might be upgrading his home uh, moving to Seattle in terms of uh, property value. Las Vegas Raiders, 35 to 1 to win it all. Worst in their division, 35 to 1. That's crazy. Eight and a half is the win total, minus 110 each way. We asked someone who rooted for someone in the AFC West. I, I forget which team. Who's the worst quarterback in the yeah, division? Yeah, it was Danny on our mock draft oh, show. And he He's said, always fan. Derek Carr. <laughs> as much as I like Devontae Adams, I like the idea that Derek Carr is the supreme leader and has the ability to get this team to come together and be much, much greater than the some of their parts. There's two things that are holding me back. One, Lane Kiffin. Yeah. And two, Derek Carr. I, I do think his floor is high. I do think they will be competitive in all their divisional games. They know how to play the Raiders. Josh tough. McDaniels is a big, uh, what did I say? Me? Lane Kiffin. Yeah. You said Lane shit. Kiffin. Why do those, <laughs> those two guys are the same person in my head, which is pretty funny. Uh, well, and, and Ryan, you know, we were talking with the cabbie, uh, cabbie's always good for great local <laughs> scoops. And we were, we were talking, breaking down the season. And it's like, oh yeah. You know, now that they got all that drama out of the way it's clear sailing mm. for these, uh, Las Vegas Raiders or Maybe it's the other way in, in the sense, like all the drama with all the off field stuff created a common enemy, like something they could rally yep. around. Like, Hey, we want to show the world that, uh, you know, we're more than just John Gruden and you know, the, uh, rugs going, going to jail and, and Derek Carr speaking up for him. Like that could have been in a weird sense, a galvanizing thing for oh, this definitely. team. And now it's just like, Oh, the expectations are massive. Devonte Adams. And maybe they tighten up. Like there are definitely teams that thrive when there are low or no expectations. And the Raiders might have been that team last year. Also, they had a coach that seemed to be like the right coach for that time. Like yeah. I, I certainly think that they're coaching like you're are you upgrading the coach at the end of the season? This is I think tough. I think a lot of the guys in the locker room would tell you they would have been happy to have been under I'm, I'm blanking on his name, the special teams coach. Um Scarnecki or something? There you go. Is uh is the uh, so, hey, some good at thank you thank you for the booth for uh, helping <laughs> us out with that one, all right so I'm going under and a lot of that there's like a there's like a game and a half swing in there for Josh McDaniels I just I cannot back him as a head coach Eagles eight and a half minus one twenty on the lock over, it up one hundred on the under lock it up I mean as much as I th- this this does seem like a strangely low total for a team that even if they don't take a step forward from last year. They won. They were nine and eight last year, and that included them resting their starters that last game against the Cowboys. And I know the knock is, oh, Jalen Hurts, he can't throw the ball, et cetera, et cetera. But we, you know, um, we've seen uh, what this offense looks like when they're based around the run. Still very productive in the regular season. I mean, for them to actually get to the playoffs and make some noise, Jalen Hurts needs to make that step. Uh, you know, that next step. And do I like his chances? Yeah, like the kid. If you look at his passing ability, he's actually gotten better as a passer every year in college. And then even in the pros now, granted it's a small sample size, as far as these, 
you know, he had a couple games rookie year and then played the, the whole season last year, uh, missing one game for injury. But I think there's a world where he can make that jump. And again, the offensive line is very strong. They've, they've added to the defensive line. And of course, AJ Brown, I can't remember. I was, I was having a conversation with my Eagles buddies oh. could not remember the last time we had two good receivers. Now I know you want to, you know, dispute uh, like what is Devonta Smith considered good? Certainly much better than, than any sort of second receiver we've had in 20 plus years. So I, I, I like that. I like the coach. They seem to rally around him and uh, really it's just, they have two good, uh, they have two good lines on offensive and, and defense. What I am worried about is the secondary. I still think there are some holes at second corner at safety. Uh, I do think they end up signing uh, Honey Badger. We'll see how much that helps, but I think that's their weakness. But nine and dream eight, team. No, it, nine, it, no, but it's not. It's the dream team was messed up because it was just all these new guys. Also, it was Vince Young, the backup quarterback, <laughs> calling for the dream team. So like Ronnie Brown was included in the dream yep. team references. This is not that <laughs> this is, they plugged some holes and brought in AJ Brown. So I I'm all over the over at eight and a half. Ryan, are you with me? Yeah. Let's go dolphins. Thir- see, I, some of us can be objective dolphins 30 to one to win the championship. What are they doing? Who is running to the window to bet the dolphins to win the super bowl <laughs> at 30 to one. They just fired their coach. Like it, it, everyone just forgetting that there's a very good coach. Nine is the win total minus one ten each way. There, there is a, there's a, a situation going on here where I think if you if you're right about the Dolphins, they're going to win like eleven games and they're going to be much better than than I expect uh, because Tua is is good with Tyree Kill and and then the offense takes a step forward. The defense is good. I, I I think I look at that coach and I just I I don't he doesn't strike me as a guy who's going to go out and get ten wins in his first season. And maybe the better way to play this this team no. is he wins coach of the year. Uh, that might be the better future to play, but give me an under. Well, but the, the problem is with the coach of the year thing, uh, I, I think is because they weren't, they weren't horrible last year. Like they, what was their final record? It was like nine and eight. They yeah. won eight games in a row. So for you to like vastly exceed what they did last year, I think is tough. I'm all over the under. Cause I don't, I'm not a two believer and Tyreek kill could get pissed off. If, if Tyreek, you know, if Tua is not getting the ball where he should, I mean, he no he only knows a world where Patrick Mahomes is his quarterback. I have a feeling that might be a rude awakening when you're dealing with Tua 17 games. A which, season. which week does he take the social media approach and, and remove all mentions of the dolphins? This to me is insane because why were the dolphins really good? Was it this high? powered dolphins offense. That was only missing a speedy receiver. No, they were good because they played really good defense because Brian Flores is a really good defensive coach. Now, maybe he's a pain in the ass and, and he didn't like Tua, and you had to get rid of him. But I think you lost a really good coaching mind, at least that defensive coordinator aspect yep. in Brian Flores. And I don't think that's easy to replace. Yeah. And usually it was like, if they got up, they were good. And yeah. if they didn't, it was tough for them to come back. So both on the under there, no, no surprise. Minnesota Vikings, 45 to one to win it all. Nine is the win total minus minus one ten each way. Kirk cousins still there. Kirk mm-hmm. cousins fine in the regular season. Kirk cousins relatively unchallenged. And you know, the bears and the lions projected to have much fewer wins. This is an interesting one because you have a new coach. You have Kirk cousins still there. You have you know, a team that generally we felt like Mike Zimmer was getting the most out of the talent. And if they're, if we don't know if the coach, the new coach is going to be able to get that same juice out of, especially out of the defense that was struggling last year. I don't know if I can, again, run to the window and grab an over on this Vikings team right now. No, And, and again, Zimmer is good. Zimmer was a good coach. Like he maybe overstayed his welcome, but I think there were times he got a lot out of that defense where there wasn't a ton of talent. Yeah. I, you know, they drafted some, uh, the, what is they went uh, safety and then they went cornerback. So they're, they're bringing in young defenders. I think they're actually kind of an interesting team in fantasy because I, I think they're going to be behind a lot. And well, I think, they got the, they got one of McVay's lackeys up there. Yeah. And, and I think, I think uh, cousins and Jefferson could be like real, uh, like a fun stack that you could get at a decent price, but I think the defense is going to fall off yeah. the cliff and under nine is definitely a good play. That that's probably one of my favorite ones right now. Cardinals nine, 25 to one to win it all minus minus one ten each way. 
Kyler got his toy, AKA his college BFF, because apparently Sean in the pros, Hollywood's BFF was Lamar mm. bit of a love triangle here, triangle here, trying to, trying to get it untangled Kingsbury, the air raid. We know how this goes, right? He starts fast. He finishes slow under, uh, this one's tough because I do feel like they've, they figure out how to get a couple of these wins in the division, even though they don't seem like great matchup wise. We're really hating on Kyler. Yeah. Uh, and Kyler, Kyler will get you some wins. This, this is, this total's probably, damn man, it, it's probably like, right. Because I, I could, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm saying like, it is a full, whole number. I hate the whole number. Yeah. Make it eight and a half Ryan on your projections. But I mean, look at what they've done the last couple of years, 11 and six, eight and eight, uh, you know, and, and it does feel like they. I'm, I'm kind of worried about their defense. I don't know what they're going to do on that side of the ball. They were three and five at home, eight and one on the road. That, they were very weird. So it's like, yeah, you feel like that road record isn't going to be as good, but I don't think they're going to go three and five again at home. I think we're going to be talking. I think if it starts slow, Kingsbury's going to be in trouble. I think because they have the extra home game and I think they figured it out a little bit. I'll go over nine, but I, I don't really want under I don't volatile know. situation. Yeah, that's probably true. I, right. Ravens nine and a half, 22 to one to win the championship minus 140 on the over here. Plus 115 on the under. It's clear to me. That's what you take. You take the over here, right? Yeah. I mean, again, they're, they're right there with uh, the Ravens with Pittsburgh and it's Lamar and they, with a chip they, on his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they kind of had a season from hell last year and they still went eight, and nine before that 11 and five, 14 and two, 10 and six. You have Harbaugh. You have Lamar Jackson. I mean, yeah, they, they got rid of Hollywood Brown. Is that really going to make a difference? No, uh, he wasn't good. No, I, I, and I like their draft. I thought their draft was very strong. So yeah, this is a 10 win team, 10 and seven all day. They got guys with low positional value, but who are going to be starting for them very early. Yeah. So Tennessee Titans, nine and a half plus 100 over minus 120 under 28 to one to win it all. Under this, baby, you got to take the under here, right? Yeah, a lot and, of questions to be answered it, here. It did feel like the the Titans had a little bit of that magic, you know, when their coach was, of course, threatening to cut his dick off to inspire them to a Super Bowl. You had Derrick Henry really? becoming unstoppable, but now it's it's uh, the the stuff has kind of shifted, right? So you got Tannehill, they're drafting his replacement. That's gonna erode his confidence. Yep. You have Derrick Henry, maybe hitting that injury wall. You see this with running backs. Like he was an extreme outlier when it came to carries and whatever. And now he's got that first one. And and it feels like once you, once you break the seal there on the injuries, it, it could be a full stream. So I'm worried about that. And then no AJ Brown, like, yeah, he was banged up a little bit uh, during the year, but that guy was a dog yeah. and he really, he, he has a massive catch radius, which if you're not the most accurate quarterback, AKA Jalen hurts or Ryan Tannehill, helps. that helps you. That, that actually has an impact, right? Ryan, Ryan Tannehill probably, uh, it's probably unfair to put him in the same passing category as Jalen hurts, but I agree with you. They were 12 and five last year. Vrabel is one of those coaches. We he's very much fringe like uh, Tomlin in terms of just finds a way uh, that is true. And, and again, they were, uh, their defense played actually much better than I thought last year. This is tough. Because it's, I, I, I like, have to take over on either Titans or Colts, right? They're, they're interesting because uh, not necessarily, but I, I think they're interesting because to your point, Vrabel does seem to pull shit out of Give his me ass. Over. They'll get 10 wins because yeah. I'm going to go under on the Colts, which is next. Also nine and a half, 22 to one minus one thirty on the over one ten on the under. I'm not buying the Matt Ryan is going to fix this. I'm not bet, but betting that Matt Ryan is better than Phillip rivers was. I'm not betting that Matt Ryan no. is better than Carson Wentz. No, we saw Matt Ryan. Uh, I, I do think he'll be better than Carson Wentz in the sense that he will not give them games. Uh, uh, do but you I, remember the way that, I mean, watching Matt Ryan get sacked is very reminiscent of old uh, Eli Manning or Peyton yeah, Manning. They just hold on to the ball. Goes down too hard. Long. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm on under nine and a half now. You know, I, I don't think the, the Frank Reich may have gotten some coaching hype that maybe not uh, warranted and, and maybe getting exposed is not as a good of coach. Uh, as we originally thought, uh, yeah, their, their offensive line should be pretty good. I don't know. I, I got to watch some preseason tape on this cold team and, and see, cause maybe there's a world Matt Ryan in a dome, but he was in a dome last year. Like, I, I don't know. I, 
I'm betting against Matt Ryan winning 10 games, which that feels like a good spot to be, especially when you got Matt Ryan. He's won. old as fuck. We know quarterbacks fall off the cliff. Like that's science with the exception of Tom Brady. That's science. Yeah. When was the last time? I mean, this is a great, st- <laughs> this is probably in it in a nutshell. When was the last time Matt Ryan won 10 games? Uh, 28 and three. <laughs> uh, it was the one year after that. So Super Bowl year, they won 11 and five. Um, 2017, they went 10 and six, but look at all these other years, seven and 10, four and 12, seven and eight, seven and nine, eight and eight, six and 10, four and 12. I, I just, I don't see it with Matty ice. So yeah, give me under nine and a half. And he's nearing that point where we t- like, he's not, you wouldn't consider him an elite quarterback. And I think when, when, when we refer to non elite quarterbacks, we know that the cliff is very sharp and he's nearing that age 36. He's at that age uh, 37. So let's, let's fade it. Bengals 18 to one to win the, the championship. 10 is the win total plus plus one ten over minus minus one thirty under. I, I, I mean, it's interesting because I, instinctively I was going to come in and go, ah, oh, man, everything kind of went right for those Bengals team, especially in the, in the postseason. maybe a yeah. team you want to fade, but 10 wins for this Bengals team. Um, I, I'm going over. I mean, Joe Burrow has something you saw, especially uh, chase, like towards the, the second half of that season when he ended up winning and kind of stealing the uh, rookie of the year. Burrow still takes a lot of hits. He does. And That's they were, what worries they me. Were, they were 10 and 6 last year, kind of had their run um, he, he's, in the playoffs. He's in a division where dudes want to hurt you. And, and I think, I know everyone, that is true. everyone will tell you they fixed the offensive line, but they I wor- certainly put some money in. I worry that the way he plays, he's just not going to be a guy that stays healthy. And so, so if, yeah, maybe you're, if you're going under, you're like, hey, well, I'm getting the injury uh, risk as well. You're giving up juice there. The juice right now minus on our projections are, are minus one thirty. So that's interesting. I'll, uh, I You'll will take under. I'll take under. Tough division. I'm I'm going over. But Maybe I'm I, just a hater, but also like, isn't there a hangover here? The city is still partying. <laughs> they, they, I know they, they there were a lot of uh, walking around here in draft weekend. There is a lot of uh, AFC champion hats that the Bengals <laughs> fans are wearing. And I remember in 2004 when the Eagles made it to the Super Bowl and lost. I, I didn't wear any NFC championship gear. Cause it's just like, ah, oh, yeah. Hey, just a reminder. I lost the super bowl. Why not just get a shirt that says super bowl losers, Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, you should be happy for your season, but why not wait till they win the super bowl before you get the uh, hat there? That's, that's my take on it. Yeah. Ryan, you know what my other take is? You should be using a VPN. If you're listening to this podcast right now and you're not using a VPN playing with your life, at least your internet life. Uh, I mean, you know, you want your ISP seeing what you're doing. You want, uh, you want people being able to access your browsing history. No, you want your data a hundred percent encrypted. Uh, you can hide your location. Uh, it's great for using on uh, streaming devices like a fire stick. And again, if we're uh, traveling stuff, always throw on the VPN. We have it running in our office as well. The SGPN, uh, God's eye, a streaming setup runs through IP vanish. IP vanish has an amazing deal. 70% off their yearly plan. Are you kidding me? 70% off any 30 day money back guarantee. You're essentially getting nine months free. Very easy to get set up. You don't have to be an internet genius to use a VPN, but highly recommend it. Keep your internet, uh, keep your, whatever you're doing on the internet, keep it safe, keep it secure and keep it between you and the internet. IPvanish.com slash SGP. That's 70% off ipvanish.com slash S G P home stretch Kramer, big Broncos. dogs, big Broncos, dogs. 16 to one, 10 minus one twenty five over plus one Oh five under as much as Russell Wilson, R- Russell Wilson's just a lock, right? For what? 10 wins, 10 wins. But I is mean, he a lock for 11. <laughs> we had a nice run with just always taking Russell Wilson over. I mean, you know, last year, six and eight, but before that 12 and four, 11 and five, 10 and six, nine and seven, 10 and five, 10 and six, 12 and four, 13, three, 11 and five. Like he is a guy. He's a dude, Uh 10 and seven. Yeah, you're feels right. Over. Right. I'm going over. I, I don't, you know, he, he's, he's going there. He's going to get it figured out. It, there is some concern of like a super team type hangover and I don't know, 
But are you really going to go under no. on on Russell Wilson? I just don't see it. Broncos. Uh, the 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 coach is a big question mark too, though. Um, Nathaniel Hackett. I he could go young offense many guy. different ways. I mean, the concern is they lose that defensive identity yeah. that Vic Fangio had, and they're not quite the the scrappy home team. But on the on the other side, they could just turn into a team that can beat beat you uh, with pace and with Russ throwing it down. So the many field. weapons. It feels like they're gonna. Yeah, ten feels right. I'll, I'll go over. Well, staying on ten, staying sixteen to one. Uh, Chargers with the identical number. So, I, which I also like the under or the over on. I know the Chargers find ways, but yep. God, this team is under loaded. ten, baby. This team is under loaded. ten. Don't tell Justin Decker you're taking the under here. I'm taking the over. I, What's not to love? Oh, I love. What's uh, not to love? Uh, here's what I'll do. I'll take the under on the Chargers, and okay. then I'll sprinkle uh, Justin Herbert MVP. All right. That's only, how you play. What, 12 to 1 maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't go too much deeper. The Chargers are going to be good this year. They're, <laughs> they they're are, not going to screw it up. They are going to be good, but they won't win 11 games because they're the Chargers, right? Golly. That's what they do. Golly. All right. Um, so where are we? Our Niners, another 10-win team. 14 to 1 to win it all. Minus 110 each way. No quarterback under who's right. your quarterback. If Jimmy G was healthy and starting, uh, I'm gonna you could talk me into the over. We spoke to a member of the San Francisco 49ers. And again, there was, I didn't, I didn't get any excitement about no. uh, Trey Lance. I, I don't anticipate uh, he's going to be a dude. I think he's going to play and I just don't think he's going to be that good. So they're the, good. I mean, this you, is, this is ridiculous. You watch, you watch Trey Lance. I test. That was a rough. He just didn't look like a guy that was ready. Now maybe Shanahan. Of course he's not ready. Jimmy G played over. Him. Yeah, maybe Shanahan completely fixes him in the off no. season. But as it stands no. right now, under ten. No, he's sure. got Debo's not doesn't want to be on the team anymore. They got drama. They got a little bit of drama. Kansas City ten and a half, ten to one to win it all, minus one fifteen on the over, minus one hundred five on the under. Uh, well, how much does Tyreek Hill matter to that offense? Well, and, and you're getting a motivated Patrick Mahomes. And not that he wasn't motivated previously, but I do think there is going to be a little bit of like, hey, I don't need Tyreek Hill. He wasn't the entire offense. And I think having Tyreek Hill on their team made them kind of predictable in, in a certain sense because it's like, oh, we got to use Tyreek Hill. It, it seemed like they had kind of figured out the Chiefs um, to a certain degree. And. I think this is going to force Andy Reid to come up with some new stuff. I think this is going to put a chip on the, you know, on Patrick Mahomes' shoulder. I think he's going to be very, very motivated. I, I like the, uh, I, I like their draft. I thought they had a nice draft there. So yeah, I, I mean, Chiefs over Broncos, ten and a half. This is a very low total for the Chiefs. Broncos, Chargers, and Chiefs can all go over. I think, but two and out of three are definitely going over. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot. I'm taking all three over. You're crazy. Two out of three are hitting. I don't want to try to play a uh, pinochle or whatever that game's called. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, 10 and a half, 17 to one to win it all. Minus 105 on the over minus 115 on the under auto play on the under. Uh, what yeah. is this? This team is nearing disaster. They're about to implode. And they, they had such a good defense last year that really carried them. Some of it, you know, like the, the interceptions, like that's just not going to come back. Um, you know, clearly the team's not a fan of Zeke. The, the O line is falling apart and it's an auto fade on Mike McCarthy. Simple, simple. They, they got to win 11 games to get, this no is, way. this is, we got to get bet this early, Sean. I don't know if it's going to stay this high. <laughs> it, it's the fifth highest total on the board. I mean, it's tied for the third highest total on the board, which is crazy. Rams 10 and a half also, uh, which is crazy. The team that just won the Super Bowl is tied with the Cowboys minus 115 over minus 105 under Super Bowl hangover 10 to one uh, to win it back to back 10 to one to just play the hangover. I'm not but someone. Uh, I know the water in Los Angeles doesn't cure hangovers <laughs> just like Kansas I'm going, City. I'm going over 10 and a half. It's not a strong play, but I think they could just be the best in this division uh, that could have some issues. You know, we, we're That's going fair. back and forth on the, well. yeah. uh, on the, on the Cardinals, Seattle with no Russ My and then San Francisco with Trey Lance. So I, I think they could get over this without having an amazing season. I feel like this whole set of numbers we're looking at needs to be skewed up like a win. Like the top of the board should be closer to 12 and a half. Yeah. The bottom of the board should be closer to five and a half. Let's go Green Bay Packers. They're at 11 all by themselves. 10 to one to win it all. Minus 125 on the over 105 on the, 
Uh, their division. There's nothing there. Aaron Rodgers, There's... regular season God. Three years with 13 wins. Why would they not over. take the over? It's, over. There's it's not simple, much but have. there's you still have Aaron Rodgers. Um, you know, you still have Matt LaFleur, who is they're both awesome regular season tandem to get you 13 wins. I, I will need to see them and what they do uh, without Devontae Adams, but I think we're going to see a heavy dose of running. We're going to see Aaron Jones catching a lot more passes. So, And just no one in that division scares me. Yeah. Bills, favorite to win the Super Bowl, tied at the top with 11 and a half wins, minus 135 over, plus 115 under. Another team, wh where's the resistance in their division they have to get 12 and five. It, 12 and five is very doable. They were only 11 and six last year, Sean. Yeah. And, Extra road game this year. I think they're a little bit more motivated because I think if that AFC championship game was in Buffalo, they get a ton against the Chiefs. So I think they're going to come in with more intensity, more focus for the regular season. I, they, you know, I don't want games like where they, they lost to the Jags. Like you can't do that this year. And I, and I think they will, uh, I like the over and my, just my take on this before we do the last one is I, I seem to be pretty more confident with some of the better teams. And like, maybe there's more good teams in the league now who are just rising to the top and more bad teams, I guess on the counterbalance, Tampa Bay, 11 and a half, seven to one to win it all. Last team we're talking about. They won 13 last year. Tom Brady's back for one more. How much did Bruce Arians matter? That's the question. <sighs> But again, I mean, I do not like Todd Bowles as a head coach, but they won 13 and four uh, early would be an over. I'm not playing it though. I, I, I really think the bills. Yeah. I guess lean over. Cause it's early still here's my their prediction. division. Like the, who's going to really challenge them in the division Rams Packers bills and bucks all tick up a half win by the summer, probably the chiefs too. So yeah. And again, once these are, these should be posted uh, relatively soon. I was grilling uh, Alan. I'm like, Alan, people are clamoring for the win totals. So these things should be up relatively soon. And again, it, you know, traditionally with this stuff, if you like the over, take it early. If you like the under weight, uh, depending on the team though, I think as Get, well. All right, let's, should we close the show with uh, one over and one under we like? Sure. Kick it off Kramer. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to go right to the bottom of the board. Give me the Houston Texans over four and a half. <laughs> I, I don't think four and a half will be available forever. I'm going to actually bet this now. I'm going to advise my clients to maybe take a piece. I know not advisable to uh, tie up money for all this time, but do you really think it's going to be four and a half? And then for my under, oh, there's, I mean, it, it's Cowboys. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> ten and a half? The yeah. Cowboys aren't winning 11 games this year, period. Ten and a half seems insane. Period. Uh, Minnesota Vikings under nine. I, I, the Cowboys are a rocket. That's not built by Elon Musk. Yeah. It's going to come crash, come <laughs> crashing down Minnesota under nine. They're just, uh, I, I think it, this is just a bet that Zimmer is a good coach. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I think it's going to matter more than people think And Pittsburgh over seven and a half Tomlin's a dog. They're going to figure out a way to get to eight wins. Fun question for you. Who wins their division by more games, Packers or bucks? That's, say, that's a fun prop bet. I'll, I'll say the Bucks. Yeah. Interesting. I, I'd go Packers. Ryan, that was our very early NFL <laughs> win totals uh, podcast. Of course, we'll be breaking them down more in the NFL offseason. I got some NBA content coming up. We'll be hitting you with the NBA pod as well. Playoffs are uh, happening in the National Basketball Association. Give us a follow on Twitter at Gambling Podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. So you can hop in our live chat anytime we start uh, streaming live. And uh, yeah, and shout out to the, um, we have the winners here. Let me see if I can pull this up oh. real quick. Congrats to the winners of the uh, NFL draft props challenge. We actually had a tie. No way. Yes. And they even tied with their tie breakers. No so way. Matt Steam and BFER54. Both tied, so you guys will end up splitting the uh, $500 prize because he even hit the tiebreaker the same. So, congrats to those guys, and uh, thank you, everyone, for entering the NFL Draft Props Contest for Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green. He is Ryan. Yeah, thanks to Blue Wire win, and uh, goodbye, Vegas. Kramer, let it ride.